Hello everyone, it's Kelly here. And today we are gonna be talking about money management. And we are specifically going to look at budgeting. But before we get into our budgeting discussion, we just wanted to take a moment to discuss what money is. And so money is a medium of exchange, a measure of value or a means of payment. And so you guys will see I have my wallet here. You know, and so when we often think of money, we might think of like tangible money. You know, so you can see I have a $1 bill here, I have a $10 bill here. <clears throat> or we might think of coins that we have. So when I go in my wallet, you know, you'll see that I have a quarter here, I have a penny, a nickel. Looks like no dimes in here, but you can see I have a bunch of coins here. So this is like the tangible money that we often think of. Now, what's the purpose of this money that we have, right? So the purpose is that it can be broken down into something that we give and something that we receive. So first let's talk about what we, how we receive money. So for those of us that work, we get money as a form of payment for the work that we complete. Other people might receive income through something else, like some people receive it through Social Security. And so people receive money through that, maybe for a disability or other means. But either way, we are being paid for a reason. Now, once we receive that money, we all know that we need to pay it for a variety of reasons, right? So we you know, give money at the grocery store in exchange for you know, some food. You know, so I have some bananas here. I bought those at the store the other day. I had to give the cashier, you know, money to get these bananas. You know, we also have to pay the cable company in exchange for being able to watch TV shows. Or if we have internet at our homes, you know, we have to give the, the company money for the internet. We give money to say a plumber if, you know, we have a plumbing problem in our house or money to the electric company in exchange for electric to keep our lights on in our home. And say, you know, we want to get some new shoes, you know, and to get these new shoes at the department store, I need to give the cashier money in exchange for that. So list could go on and on, you know, so let's face it, we need money to do all these kinds of things. And so to make sure that we have the money that we need so that we can purchase the things that we need, we need to know how to budget our money. And so a budget is a projection of how much money we will have coming in for income each month versus our expenses. And so it's important that we think about paying our bills first before we start spending money on any leisure activities. We provided you guys with a couple different budgeting worksheets that can be helpful for you as you try to set up your budget. But it's important, you know, that we focus on getting our needs um, met before we look at things that we want. So let's think about some of our expenses, you know, expenses like our rent or our mortgage. So we're all living somewhere, right? We're not living there for free. So we need to be paying for where we're living. Food, you know, I was talking about these bananas. We need to make sure that we have enough food in our home and not just bananas, but other things as well. Making sure that we have electric in our homes, making sure that we have water, maybe garbage pickup, or if you have to bring your garbage, say to the transfer station like I do, either way, you need to pay for your trash to get taken away. Our phone, um, our internet gas, if you have gas that does um, anything in your home, car insurance, our health insurance, and sometimes even our medical bills, you know, need to go in there too with the health insurance. Now, if you have any outstanding debts, like say from a debit, uh, sorry, a credit card balance, a school loan, a car loan, anything like that. You want to make sure that you factor payments for that as well before making plans for things that you want. So to determine how much money that we have left over to do the things we want, we want to take the monthly income 
and subtract the monthly expenses from it. And then with the money left over, we can do a variety of things. You know, um, we can think about things that we want more readily, like some new clothes or in my case, you know, some new shoes. We can also be thinking about things that we can save up money for. We gave you guys a uh, worksheet where you can um, color in a savings jar each time you're adding money to something that you're saving for. So maybe you're saving up for a new vacation or maybe a new video game system that costs a lot of money. Either way, you know, having that visual of being able to see yourself, you know, saving up the money that you need for that purchase can be really exciting and really rewarding too. So, and it's also important to remember that it's okay to ask for help when you're working on a budget. You know, sometimes it can get frustrating when we're trying to figure out how much money do I really need to put aside for this or for that. It can get difficult too when an unexpected expense comes up and all of a sudden your budget is like totally thrown off. You know, I think I've touched upon before that, you know, Tyler and I, we have older cars. And so at times our cars have repairs that need to be done. And we certainly, you know, are never ready for those repairs. They often cost a lot of money. But it's important for us to stay calm in those instances. And just to know that, um, you know, the next month will be a little better and we can make up for it. Um, but we will have to make some sacrifices at that moment so that we can pay for our cars to be fixed and have them working again. So it's good to just be able to take a deep breath. Whew, remember, in through our nose, out through our mouth, and just to tell ourselves it's going to be okay. We may need to make some sacrifices. We may have to push off something that we're wanting to, to do, but we will get through this and um, this is just a part of life, right? So, you know, we hope that this information of budgeting is helpful as um, we just continue to work to manage our money well, you know, and um, if you have questions about budgeting, really reach out to somebody that you trust, whether it's a family member, a provider, friend, or staff. You know, you can certainly add a budgeting goal, even a program, if that's something that you're really interested in getting better at you know, let a staff know at program or at home, you know, that that's something that you want to work on because it is a really important independent living skill to have. So I hope you all have a great day and we'll see you on the Zoom calls later.